My mic's not on. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you all. Look at you in your summery clothes. Welcome to Terrington St. Clement Parish Church, and maybe you're wearing summery clothes at home. Welcome to you online. Uh, for those who uh, don't know me, I'm Mark, the Families and Youth Minister, and a special welcome if you are here for the first time. Um, the in-laws, they're here for the first time. You know, there you go, in-laws. Um, so there we go. Uh, has anyone got, uh, oh, sorry, it's, it's all age today. So there's a family on the way. Fantastic. That's great. That's great news. That's, that's good. Okay. Um, what I'll do then is I will start with the notices. Notices, Bible study group. We resume on Wednesday in uh, the book of Malachi. Um, if you would like to join us for that, then send me an email. Um, any other notices? Any other notices? Any, anyone got anyone? You know, anything to think of? I'm going to do good news in a minute, but I want to wait until the family's here. So we're delaying slightly. I'm delaying, okay? Because I haven't got another note. Oh, shall I talk about the summer? There we go. Um, rock Cafe in the summer. We're going to have five rock cafes, hopefully, um, because hopefully the, the restrictions will allow for it. Um, so please pray for easing of restrictions, and we'll have five mornings uh, with uh, craft and cake and games uh, and all the usual things, hopefully. Uh, we can maybe even go outside if the restrictions are still a bit tight. But if you would like to um, be part of that um, or one, just wonder what it is, then do have a chat with me later. Okie dokie. So today we are continuing our all age service series. You look at you're all very quiet. You, I can't see you behind your mask, so I can't read you. Are you smiling? Are you, are you happy? Are you sad? You're happy. You're happy to be here, everyone. This is good. Okay. Um, so we're continuing our service today uh, on the fruit of the spirit, the all age series. And today we're thinking about patience. So there we go. Now, has anyone got any good news. Hands up if you've got any good news. No? No one's got no good news? Yes. Nice one, Katie. That is good news. Um, yeah, RAF, yeah? Smooth. She'll be delighted with that. Now, I did see another hand up. Got Caroline. It has been half term. <laughs> It has been half term. It's been great. It's been a hot half term as well. Uh, any good news, Browns? No? Happy half term? Yeah? A vague smile. Vague smile. I've got some good news. Some of you may, sorry if you don't know about this, have been incredibly boring. But I, can we have the next picture? Can we have the slide, please, Mike? Thanks. No. Here I am. There's the good news, right, is that I managed to, um, you know, secure a five-foot round table to the top of our car. And I safely delivered, drove it to Terrington from Northamptonshire. So there we go. <laughs> that is good news, everyone, because that was... Let's, let's go into the next one. Thanks, Mike. That is the table in, in our dining room now with only half the chairs around it. Um, but uh, five foot, it's good. So um, there we go. That was good news. I was, I was a bit nervous about sort of um, doing the, the whole roof rack thing, but it turned out all right. So that's good news. Okay. Everything that you need for the service will be on the screen, but you may want to have a Bible to hand later on. Now, a quick reminder that for us in church, we're not yet allowed to sing out loud. And big thanks to our musicians for singing for us. So let's stand and praise God in our first song, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven.
Please sit down. Now, uh, can anyone remember what we've covered in our Fruit of the Spirit series so far? What was the first one? Hands up. Christine, love. The, correct. Well done, musical director. There we go. Uh, I've brought my uh, hobby craft. It's a bendy tree, okay? It's not, it's not a real tree. It's bendy. It's plastic and metal, okay? But it looks quite cool, and it's, it's handy for occasions like this. There we go. There's, and thanks to Helen for making these wonderful fruit, um, because the detail is astounding, okay? I don't know how long it took you. I think she was multitasking. Um, but there we go. Isaac, what was, the, what was the second one? Joy, thank you. Well done. And Helen deliberately made a banana, because it's a... It's kind of a smiling fruit, isn't it, really? So we'll hang Joy up there. There we go. Next one. Robert, Robert did that one. Yeah, Luke. Peace, thank you. Well done. I don't know onliners if you can see these. Sorry if you can't. You should vaguely see them. Um, but uh, no one's appreciating the detail. So, uh, I would say come up, but we're not really allowed to come up, are we? But anyway, there we go. Um, good. So, I'm going to turn this one off so it doesn't make a noise. Now, in our Fruit of the Spirit series, we have been thinking about uh, what God the Holy Spirit produces in us. So far, we've covered love, joy, peace. Uh, because these are all things that, you know, these are part of God's character. God is full of these. Uh, and as Christians, we are growing in all of these as well, aren't we? But we have noted in the series so far that our hearts produce stuff as well, don't they? Our hearts produce stuff um, that is, goes against uh, these, these kind of things. Um, some pretty unkind stuff our hearts produce. Uh, stuff called sin, unkind thoughts, words, and actions. We've all had unkind thoughts. We've all said unkind words. We've all acted in an unkind way, haven't we? What has your heart produced this last few days? What, what's your heart pumped out? Just going to have a moment of quiet, and then we're going to say sorry to, get, sorry to God. So this one is not on the screen, everyone. I'm going to say a line, and then I would like you to respond with the words, we are sorry. Can you do that? Let's have a practice. So I'll say a line as an example, and then you say, we are, we are sorry. sorry. We are sorry. Good. Okay. So let's uh, pray to God. Let's say sorry. Lord God, for the times when we think we are better than others, we, we are, are sorry. sorry. For the times we have told lies, we, we are, are sorry. sorry. For the times we've joined in with others who are doing wrong, we, we are, are sorry. sorry. For the times we have shouted at our friends and family, we, we are, are sorry. sorry. For the times when we have refused to apologize, we, we are, are sorry. sorry. For the times when we've ganged up against others, we, we are, are sorry. sorry. For the times when we were too busy with our own affairs to notice that other people needed help, we, we are, are sorry. sorry. For these and all our other wrongs, we, we are sorry. Are sorry.
Amen. <clears throat> right, well, um, so today we're thinking about patience. We've got our patience fruit. I would get you to do it normally, but you're there, and I'm here, and we're socially distant. So there you go. That, that has not worked well, has it? Mm. It needs to go round. There you go. It's very near joy, but that's fine. Okay. So, let's have our, we're going to have our Bible readings now. Uh, we've got our verses from Galatians on the series, so they'll be on the screen, and also uh, we've got... Uh, some verses from Psalm 86. So if you want to get those ready in your Bible, so Galatians chapter 5, followed by Psalm 86. So uh, first off, Galatians chapter 5. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, that's patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. And then Psalm 86, verses 11 to 17. The psalmist writes, Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, my Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love towards me. You have delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Arrogant foes are attacking me, O God. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. They have no regard for you. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Show your strength on behalf of your servant. Save me, because I serve you just as my mother did. Give me a sign of your goodness, that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, before we think more about those verses, uh, let's praise God in our next song. Yes, I believe you're the Christ, my authority. Let's stand. I'm going to sh- uh, get Mike to put up a few pictures in a moment. And uh, what you've got to do is uh, you've got to rate yourself on how patient you think you are in these kind of categories, okay? So you can rate yourself 
with your thumb, okay? So we're all going to join in this together. This will be fun, won't it? We're not, we're not doing it so we can sort of, you know, be nasty and judge, judge each other, okay? It's just to, you know, it's just to think, get us thinking about patience. So if you think you are not particularly patient in, this, in the following scenarios, then you can, you can go like that. And you can use your thumb as a kind of, you know, indicator. If you're, if you're really not patient, it's that, isn't it? If you're a little bit not patient, then you, you go up. You get the idea. If you're super patient, then it's a full thumbs up. Ready? That's me. Your thumb's ready. Good. Okay. You're still alive. You're still there. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Oh, yeah. Next one. Thank you. Cheers. It's not that one. There we go. Right. Jigsaws. So, doing jigsaws or other puzzles or model making kind of stuff that require a bit of patience, yeah? I think I'm, yeah, yeah, we've got a few thumbs up. Ken, yeah, see, Ken, he's got his thumb up there because he's got a model railway. <laughs> David Peake, he's got a model railway as well, and here, you're at kind of like, you know, that, what's that? Kind of half past ten kind of <laughs> angle. Right, some thumbs down, thank you. Next one, Mike, thanks. Traffic jams, are you patient in busy traffic? Robert, you've got your thumb up there. Look at you. A l more thumbs down for this one. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, thanks, Mike. In the classroom, or, you know, not all of us are in the classroom, on a Zoom meeting, okay? A Zoom meeting. Are you good at dealing with other people in that context? Maybe those who talk a lot or even disrupt the class, that kind of situation. Oh. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's not many thumbs up there. Um, now, what about next one? Sales calls. Sales calls. Patient, not patient. Oh, yeah, look at all those thumbs down. There we go. Um, next one, Mike, thanks. A mess. Uh, living, uh, how patient are you living in the same house with someone who produces a lot of mess? My wife's thumb is up completely there, and I will, I will testify that she is very, very patient with me. Okay. Um, there we go. Uh, next one. Thanks, Mike. Uh, waiting for someone. That doggy is waiting for his owner to come back. How patient are you at waiting to see people you love? Now, the pandemic has really pushed us on this one, so uh, give yourself a rating. It's been tricky, hasn't it? It's been, it's been difficult. Okay. Thanks, uh, Mike. Next one. So uh, here's, a, here's a common dictionary definition of patience, just to, while we're sort of getting warmed up here. It's the ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. I'm going to repeat that because that's quite helpful. The ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties or to suffer without complaining or becoming annoyed. So, there we go. Um, now, let's just uh, come back to some scenarios. Uh, next one, thanks, Mike. Um, Hands up if you've got a games console at home. Hands up. Not many people have got a games console here, okay? Let's just imagine you've got your games console, okay? Yeah? I've brought, um, this is a very old, look, look at this one. This is ancient, guys. This is ancient. This is a Wii controller. Come on, the adults, must, you must be familiar with a Wii controller. Half the adult population bought these when they came out because everyone thought they'd get fit, you know, playing, playing on the step and all that stuff. But anyway, let's think about this. Because once you get one of these in your hand, things can go badly, can't they? Things can change, yeah? Now, let's think about this situation. Thanks, Mike. Your friend wants to play a different game than you, and it's one you really don't like, okay? You don't like this game, but they want to play it. Would you A, 
play their game first and wait for your turn next. B, find someone else to play with. <laughs> C, insist that your game comes first. What would you do? A, well, thank you, Browns. That, that, is, a, that is a very patient thing to do, isn't it? No? Play their game first and wait for your turn next. Does that always happen in the Brown household? Martin's shaking his head there. There we go. Right. Okay. We're not going to... Anyway, see, see, all, see all you people that missed out on games consoles. I can miss that. Now, do you like my uh, steering wheel? I would actually like, you know, if we weren't socially distanced, I'd bring it around and you could squeeze it because it is soft feel. It's really cool. Anyway. Next slide, thanks, Mike. <coughs> Things can change, can't they, when we get behind one of these bad boys? <laughs> oh, yeah. Adults, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah? You know it. Okay. Let's think about this scenario. You're driving on the motorway, and someone is sitting on, in the middle or outside lane. <laughs> They're doing like 45 in the middle lane. You're in the inside lane, they're in the middle lane. They're doing 45. It's a 70 mile an hour limit. You're there. Browns, you can, you can pretend you're driving along the motorway, yeah? Keep it steady, yeah? Someday you will be, hopefully doing that, driving along the motorway. And then you'll face this situation. What do we do? Let's find out. Do you A, slow down and wait for them to realize they are in the wrong lane? I've got some people shaking their heads here. <laughs> See this? B, beep horn or flashlights and get annoyed. Yeah? yeah? C, undertake them and then give them a stare. <laughs> We liked that option, didn't we, some people? <laughs> what is the patient thing to do? A, isn't it? It's A. Yeah? Okay, so. Steering wheel. We've all got a way to go in the patient's department. And we've all got our things that we've got a shorter fuse on, haven't we? How about flipping those situations, though? How about flipping those scenarios? Put yourself in the other person's shoes, in the other person's seat where they've got the game controller. Put yourself in the other person's car. Maybe, they, maybe they've had a really bad day. Maybe they've just heard some bad news. Maybe they're not feeling well. Maybe they're really stressed and they're not quite on it. Put yourself in the other person's shoes. How would you feel being on the receiving end of those reactions? We want people to be patient with us, don't we? Yeah? We've all made mistakes on the road. We've all kind of, you know, had to be, we've kind of uh, maybe not all been playing games consoles, but we've all been in that position where someone has shown patience to us. We like it when people are patient with us, don't we? There's no doubt that the world would be a nicer place to live if everyone was a bit more patient with each other. Well, there is one, there is one who has been patient and is being patient with every single one of us here today, with all of our family and friends. He has been patient with us all of our lives. Anyone guess who I'm thinking about? God. Thank you, Gordon. God is super patient 
with all of us. Super patient. Did you notice uh, what it said about God being patient in our second Bible reading from Psalm 86? I'll remind you. It says, but you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Slow to anger. God's patient. And that is amazing news that God is super patient. He's slow to anger. Another way to put it is he is long-suffering. Long-suffering. Someone commented, commented that it was a long holding out of the mind before it gives room to anger. It's a long holding out of the mind before it gives room to anger. Everyone needs to know or to be reminded about God's patience towards us, don't they? If you're a Christian, you'll know how God is super patient with you, don't you? You know it. You know what you're like on the inside. It's quite easy coming to church and putting on a smile behind a mask. What are our real masks that even when we're not in a pandemic, what's, what mask do we wear? But we know, we all know what we're like on the inside. We know what we've thought about. We know ourselves what we've done in secret when no one else is looking. So if you're a Christian, you know God is very patient with you. I know he is super patient with me. How often do we forget about God's patience with us? Maybe we need to remember how patient he is right now, this morning, because we can all forget it. We can all take it for granted. God deals with sinners patiently. He doesn't punish us instantly. If he did, we wouldn't be here. Nor does he forget about being just either. There will be a day of judgment, a day of justice. For those trusting in Jesus, God's justice has been satisfied in what Jesus did on the cross. God is patient. It's in his character to be patient. Give me a thumbs up if you're thankful for God's patience. Now, if we're in Jesus, if our faith is in him, then God, the Holy Spirit, will be growing patience in us. Uh, we've been chatting about this through the series, haven't we? Remember, we're thinking about the plant, had a plant for the joy and growing. All these uh, attributes will be grown in us. God will help us to be more like Jesus. Now, we're not going to be perfectly patient in every situation in this life, are we? But as we look to Jesus we'll be more patient when faced with tricky relationships or situations. We'll more often be the person who thinks of other people before ourselves, the person that waits for our friend to finish their game before we start ours, the person who calmly waits for the person in the middle lane to pull over to the inside one. If you're in a situation that needs you to be more patient, Fix your eyes on Jesus and think of how he is super patient with us and do the same to others. If you're not a Christian, you need to know right now that God is being super patient with you right now, giving you time to put your faith in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. If that sounds completely new to you or you have uh, questions about it, then please chat with myself or Robert. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Let's pray together.
Father in heaven, thank you that you are patient with each and every one of us. Thank you that you are slow to anger. Thank you that you sent the Lord Jesus to rescue us and to bring us back to yourself. Please help us to remember how you deal with us and help us by your Spirit to deal with others in the same way. In Jesus' name, amen. Our next song, Living in Christ, Live and Love and Grow in Christ. And this is a new song, isn't it, Christine? Yes. Thank you. Let's stand. <clears throat> Now, for our, uh, we're going to have a prayer time now. We're going to talk to God. And uh, our first section is going to be uh, me saying a line, and then you can respond. And it's going to be on the screen. Thank you very much, Mike. It's a slightly small. Sorry about the font. Um, but you only have to say one thing over and over again, okay? So it is, Lord, help me to depend on you, okay? Lord, help me to depend on you. Should we practice that? Lord, Lord, help, help me, me to, to depend, depend on, you. on you. Good. When I'm in a difficult situation. Lord, help me to depend on you. When I'm tempted to do things in my own strength. Lord, help me to depend on you. When I'm worried and I don't know what to do. Lord, help me to depend on you. When I have a difficult decision to make. Lord, help me to depend on you. <clears throat> in every part of my life. Lord, help me to depend on you. Amen. Amen. And our next slide. Thanks, Mike. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 uh, writes, First of all, I ask you to pray for everyone. Ask God to help and bless them all and tell God how thankful you are for each of them. So often if we thank, think of other, if we're praying for people and we're thanking God for them, then that helps our relationship in turn, doesn't it, with these people, rather than getting frustrated um, and losing patience. Let's thank people. So we're going to do this uh, now. We're going to show a couple of, we'll have a couple of pictures, Mike. So um, the categories... Who can guess the category uh, for who we're going to pray for, okay? Hands up, anyone? It's an easy one to start with because it's written on the car. Sorry? It's the emergency services. Specifically, it's the police, okay? Yeah, police? Uh, thanks, Mike. And we'll also pray for firemen and firewomen and everyone in the fire brigade, Okay. So let's pray for them. Thank you for the police, Father. 
uh, for the firefighters, uh, for everyone who supports them all in administration, and how they protect and help us. Please give them patience as they deal with some very difficult situations. Amen. Amen. Okay, thanks, Mike. Next one. Who are we going to pray for now? Dentists. There's a severe shortage of dentists in Norfolk. We go to Ely. There we go. You didn't need to know that, but I just thought I'd throw that one in there. Um, dentists, got to look after your teeth. Uh, thanks, Mike. Next one. Who else are we going to pray for? Doctors. Doctors and nurses, not teddy bears. <laughs> doctors and nurses, okay? Let's pray for dentists and doctors and nurses. Uh, thank you, Father, for everyone who helps to keep us healthy. Well, that's our mouths for dentists and for doctors and nurses. Please keep them safe as they help people. Amen. Amen. Okay. Next category, Mike, thanks. Who are we going to pray for now? Posties, yeah? And DPD, Yodel. Um, people who deliver stuff. Uh, next one, thanks, Mike. We'll do three. It's the end. Uh, who, who else can we pray for? The AA. Or general green flag or people who generally fix our cars and stuff. Yeah? And thanks to the last one, Mike. Who's that? Teachers, yeah? Does your teacher, or did your teacher look that smiley? Yeah? Is your teacher that smiley look? Good one, okay. Nice one. Okay, let's pray for those people. Thank you, Father, for the people who deliver our post and for those who help us fix things. Thank you for our teachers and all the staff at school. Please help them in their work to help them to be patient and that those whom they are serving are respectful to them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And let's join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. So together. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let's uh, stand for our final song. Oh, how good it is. Stand.
Father in heaven, we pray that you would help us to walk with your spirit and that our patience may grow. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, thank you very much to everyone involved in the service, particularly uh, tech and musicians and uh, stewards. Uh, so, hope you have a good week on liners and uh, we'll say cheerio to the stream now. Bye-bye.